can you be my March favorite? You're my everyday favorite. Mm. Can not wearing a bra be a March favorite? Welcome to my March favorites video. I'm so excited about doing this. I've never done a favorites video and I never even was one to like watch a favorites video. But then recently I've been like watching YouTubers do their like favorites every month and it's like super fun and I've actually found products that I'm like, oh, I want to get that. So I thought it'd be fun to do a March favorite video. I asked you guys on Instagram and so many of you, I think like 2% said no. So I'm bringing you guys a March favorite. So I have a list so I don't, I can like stay on topic. And I feel like we should start with fitness stuff first. So this is the thing that this month I've been like currently obsessed with. So number one, I guess this is like, it's been like two months maybe of me being obsessed with this. But honestly, I was so skeptical of this product. And then I was like, you know what? Why the hell not? I'm just gonna try it. And I'm obsessed. I don't do cardio without it. And I'm so serious, a sweet sweat. I always thought this was like a gimmick, like, yeah, bullshit. Like, okay, so I have the stick, which is actually the thing that makes you sweat that you rub on your body, but the game changer is the waistband. Now, this is not something that's going to like cinch your waist and it's not like a corset at all. I mean, you can try to make it tight is what I try to do, but what this does, it kind of like acts like an insulator and it makes everything on your stomach just like pour out sweat. So if you have the sweet sweat and you don't have the, the waistband, you're not gonna sweat as much. You will still sweat a little bit, but this really changes the game and with me on bikini prep I have loved using this in my cardio and my training I love it so sweet sweat number one uh, March favorite for fitness stuff now another thing and honestly yes I am sponsored by BPI and I didn't even realize I am wearing a BPI shirt um, not intended at all but I would use this product and talk about this product even if I was not sponsored by BPI now, this is B4 Fat Burner. It's a thermogenic, so it's basically like what I tell my clients and people who ask me, it's basically like their 1MR pre-workout in a pill form, but you don't get like the red, hot, scratchy feeling. It's just a thermogenic. So what it's going to do is increase your internal body temperature. And I take this whenever I do my fasted cardio first thing in the morning, I will take this immediately and it gives me a little boost of energy. Plus it makes me start to get all warm and then pair it with my sweet sweat and I get like the best sweat ever. And then I've also been using this as my pre workout. I don't take a, a powder anymore. I am just for right now, I've been using this and I'm loving it. I don't know. It just, I love sweating when I work out and this just doesn't give me the jitters. It doesn't make me hot and scratchy. I don't know. It, it's a really, I just, I'm loving this product and I would talk about this and promote this even if I was not sponsored by BPI. So if you're looking for a really great fat burning pre-workout that doesn't leave you like scratchy and hot and have that feeling, if you really dislike that, like if you don't want your skin to turn red and all of that, that stuff doesn't bother me. Um, but I had an extra tub of this and I was like, I'm going to give it a try and I've been obsessed. So if you want to save some money on this, my code XTINA saves you 20%. I highly recommend it. Also, there's a great stack that comes with this. I actually just ran out of it, to be honest. I was taking it. It's called Night Burn, and it's their nighttime fat burner. So they recommend you do this in the morning and then Night Burn at nighttime. You don't have to do that. Me, personally, I just take it either first thing in the morning when I'm gonna go do my fasted cardio or I take it pre-workout. So that is like my supplement favorite of the month. Another fitness favorite is, and this is kind of an older one because I got this months ago, but I've never talked about it. My Apple AirPods are seriously like my favorite pair of headphones. I love them so much. They really do stay in your ear. Um, the sound is great. I love that the case charges the headphones. So it's really hard to have these die on you. So all you really have to do is maybe charge the case like once a week and the case charges the headphones as soon as you put them in. I love them so much. The one downfall with them I will say is that you can't change the music on them, which sucks. And I know eventually, because this is what Apple does, they're gonna come out with a brand new version of these where you can like double tap to change the fucking song and I'm gonna spend another $200 on those, but 
I think they're worth the money. They really do say, I do cardio, I do hit cardio, I do burpees and all crazy shit and they never fell out of my ear. I love them so much. So that's for fitness stuff. Um, and then, that, yeah, that's it for my fitness stuff. And then I have one that I really wanted to talk about, music, because music and fitness, I cannot um, not listen to music. Where's my phone? I don't even know where it is. I was gonna play you some, some music, but I guess I won't. But I'm gonna tell you my favorite album right now, and this is new to March. Logic's new album, Bobby Tarantino 2. Just, just go, just go on Spotify and just shuffle play. I'm not kidding you when I say every single song is fucking fire. There's a song, I think it's called Every Day. Listen to it right now, just go. Just, I literally, that's all I've been doing is replaying his album throughout my whole workout like two times over and I will just listen to his whole album. I love every single song and that very rarely happens for me. So Bobby Tarantino 2, Logic, look him up, fire. Now, I put makeup in here, which as you can tell, I'm like done up. I'm like having a lot of fun with makeup right now. It's my birthday next Friday, I think. I don't know, next Friday. Next Friday, March 30th, so wish me a happy birthday. But my treats to myself, I don't, I don't know. I didn't want anything, but I really just wanted to go to Ulta and like, not with Ryan, like by myself, and so like an hour and a half there and just like fucking play. And that is what I did. So I probably will never, I mean never say never, but like I don't ever want to do a makeup tutorial because I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Brian just said yes I do, but like I really just don't like, I don't fucking know what I'm doing, but I like it when other fitness people, like fitness YouTubers do their like full, what is it, get ready with me? So I don't know, I mean, comment below. I'm scared to have you guys comment below. Maybe you think I look ridiculous and you were like, bitch, I don't want you to show me what you do for your makeup, but I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna stop rambling. I found this, huh, and I was so happy that I found it and I didn't hear about it from any other makeup person, but I'm fucking obsessed with this highlighter. Whew, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Am, oh man, I don't know how to say this. A-M-R-E-Z-Y, Am, Amrezy? Dude, I don't know, I don't know. I lift weights, I don't fucking read. Um, this is the highlighter and I think it's the most gorgeous thing you've ever put on your face in your whole entire life. I'm obsessed. Oh, fucking ring light. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I'm truly obsessed. Now let me turn my ring light back up so you can see my face. Um, I love it. I just put it right here, a little bit on my nose and like up and just kind of like highlight right here and then right right there. Whew. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. I, I played this morning. I'm trying to get better at contouring. I don't know. I'm anxious about it. If you have nothing nice to say, Please don't say it, cause I'll cry. I'm on prep and I'm emotional. So if you think I look disgusting, just don't comment that because I'd be really upset. Um, but, and then another thing I wanted to talk about, my lips. Um, you know when you go to Ulta and you're cashing out and they have all of those little cute bag of tricks, like the little, I don't know what to call them, like they're little knickknacks, like all around the register. Well, let me just tell you every single time they get me, every time. And Anastasia, Beverly Hills, they had, while I was waiting in line, they had a little mini four pack of lipsticks. And I looked at the back and they were very like dark, neutral, like I'm not someone who can wear like pink and those type of lip colors, just with my complexion and my, my how dark my skin is and all of that, just pink and that, that, that just does not look good. So this was very like warm and like neutral tones. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I suck. Um, and I didn't know I was doing this March favorites video. So I threw away the package and they don't say the names 
of the colors on the lipsticks. So I honestly cannot tell you what the hell this is called, but I love it. And it came with four and all four are bomb. So if you're at Ulta, just like glance at like the little goodies around the register. And it is a four little mini four pack of Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks for I love them all. So that's a makeup favorite. And that's all I got for makeup right now, but I plan on like experimenting more with my makeup. Um, and if you guys want to see me do my makeup one day, maybe one day in the future, one day in the far future, I'll uh, show you huh, what I do. All right, food. This is what you've been waiting for. Okay, so first things first, I want to talk about spices really quick because you guys know me and that's like the most important thing in my life. Um, so I don't want to say I'm sponsored by Eat Clean Meal Prep because I'm not. I have a coupon code, but I don't get commission. They just send me a ton of stuff. So like, I'll take it. I'd actually rather all the spices than, than a couple dollars of commission. And I love these people. Just so you know, if you want to support good fucking companies and good fucking people, these people, Eat Clean Meal Prep, the people at Eat Clean Meal Prep are just like I'm getting goosebumps talking about them. They are just so nice and so kind. I love them. So if you want to support a really great company, really great people with a really good product, Eat Clean Meal Prep is where it's fucking at. So I, do you know how hard it was to limit my favorites? Right now I have five, but I'm out of one that, I'm out of two that I wanted to talk about. Oh God, I can't narrow it down. I literally cannot. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk about my favorites, my like my top, top favorites, cause I love them all. So this is in no particular order, um, cause I can't, I can't do it in, in an order. It's way too hard. I'll try, oh fuck, I honestly can't. Okay, yeah. okay. Jam Rock Jerk. <laughs> this is so good. The f oh my god, just all the flavor in this is ridiculous. It's gonna transform your chicken. It is so good. Jam Rock Jerk, I think, is a must, 100% must. Another one, which you might be like, ew, I don't like curry. Grow up and just buy it because I'm telling you, your house will smell phenomenal. If you can tell, I have nothing in, like these are all like so close to being empty. Eat Clean Meal Prep, hit a girl up, okay. Thai yellow curry, you guys. I can't even. Making like shrimp and like a chicken Thai rice bowl. Oh, it's so fucking good. It's so good. And then limon chili. This is like the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning, except the ch the Trader Joe's is like a little saltier. So I like this because I can control my sodium. So this is very similar to Trader Joe's chili lime. It's delicious. I put it on my eggs, my avocado, my everything, my toast, my sweet potatoes, my chicken, you name it. And I have put it on, I'm telling you. Kung Pao. This is awesome if you are making any type of stir fry, just game changer. Like even I will just season my white rice with this. Even if I'm not making like a stir fry and I just have like chicken and asparagus and white rice, I will season my white rice with this. And it has like a little bit of a kick. It's really, really good. And then, okay, I made steak this week for my meal prep and I used this on my steak and it was the best steak I've ever made in my life because of the seasoning. It was phenomenal. Grill masters. So for anything that you're going to, even, I mean, I don't have a grill, so I would use it on steak, but anything, chicken, shrimp, like literally anything you want to, it's good on everything. This was so good, Grill Masters. So for steak, chicken, really any meat, even vegetables, it was just bomb. And then the two that I ran out of, this one's Brian's favorite and he goes through this in two seconds. Like, I don't even think I get a chance to use it on my food. It's the maple barbecue. He loves it. It is so good. And love then, what? Love your lipstick. Oh, he loves my lipstick. That's a favorite. Um, and so maple barbecue and taco party. You, I mean, if you've been following me, that's not a surprise whatsoever. And I'm clearly out of that one because I use it 
in like two days on everything I eat. So what, that's seven of my favorites. <laughs> and then if you want a sweet one, that's really good, maple doodle. It's like a, it's like maple-y and that you can put on your pancakes, your coffee, your oatmeal, your cream of rice, your fucking anything in a protein shake just with like water. It's just good. So um, yeah, those are my like top, top, top favorites. But like obviously I have more, but I'm not gonna ramble off to you because this would, this video would go for like 25 minutes if I just kept talking about seasonings, to be honest. So that is an exciting March favorite for sure. And this one, my coffee routine is a must in everyone's fucking life. So this is, I actually wanted to show you my favorite coffee creamer. Babe, will you grab me Keto Bomb whenever you get a second? Yeah. So we're gonna talk about coffee creamer in a second, but I don't use coffee creamer. I don't like coffee creamer. This is the only coffee creamer that I actually enjoy, like I'm obsessed with. But this little concoction I make is if I have like no macros available for the macros for a coffee creamer, even though the keto bomb that I'm gonna show you is very, very macro friendly. But if I just don't want feel like fitting it, so we'll talk about the, the coffee creamer keto bomb. It is a coffee creamer from BPI. It, I guess, was made for people who follow the ketogenic diet, but you don't need to just be keto to enjoy this. And I've talked about this a million times. The smell is so good. I love it. I put it in my oatmeal before to season my oatmeal with. It's just an all around. My favorite flavor is caramel macchiato, but they do have a French vanilla. And if you can see, this scoop is fucking ginormous. I honestly don't know one human being that would use this whole scoop in their coffee. So I, I weigh this out because there is macros in here. It's higher in fat. So I only do like seven, eight, maybe, maybe 10 grams. And it's like two fat or three fat. It's nothing, but it is so good. So that's for, if you're a coffee creamer person, get Keto Bomb, just try it, just trust me. Just trust me, I will never ever steer you wrong. But if you don't want coffee creamer, or you could add the stuff that I'm gonna talk to you now to your coffee with the coffee creamer. So, number one, I mean this is like an all time favorite for me till I die, is Trader Joe's Organic Stevia Extract. This is the only stevia that I will use. I am the biggest stevia whore, and this is the only one that I will use. I bring it with me when I travel. I always, and it's expensive. So this is small, but it is very sweet. So you really, really don't, you just need a little sprinkle. It's $9.99, but it's worth it. If you want a good zero calorie, completely zero calorie, this does not bloat me. I'm obsessed, you just need to get it. If you don't have Trader Joe's, I'm so sorry for your life, but if you are, if you have Trader Joe's in your area, pick this up, just spend the money. So in my coffee, I will put this, my stevia, and then these skinny syrups, Jordan's skinny syrups, skinny syrups. This one is caramel. My favorite flavor so far is mocha, but that's just because I'm a big mocha addict. I love everything mocha, but I ran out. So right now I'm using caramel, which I love. This is what they look like. This is like their newer packaging. They do have older packaging. This is glass and they do have some that are in plastic. It's the same thing. You can find these on Amazon. I will link my Amazon store in the description box, but you can also pick these up at a home goods or a TJ Maxx. Um, so definitely flavoring your coffee. And this is zero calories, zero everything. Like, so I've been using this actually instead of getting the Starbucks sugar-free syrups because those actually do have carbs. I'm on prep. Um, my weight is all over the place, as you guys know. So I am trying to just really track literally everything. So I don't actually use the Starbucks uh, syrups anymore. I am just been using the Jordan's skinny syrup and I love it so much. So this I flavor my coffee with, with my stevia. And I top it with another Jordan Skinny Syrup product. It's whipped foam topping. And this is, what is this, French vanilla. I have tried, I think caramel and marshmallow before too. And honestly, I don't, I don't really like taste a difference, but it, I don't know, it's just really good. And it just, you just pump it and it foams to make this beautiful foam on your coffee and it flavors it and it's so good. And it's zero calories, zero everything, zero everything. I die. And then, so a new thing, someone actually, I can't remember fucking who, I think Dustin was his name. I'm pretty sure it was Dustin. 
I got a DM telling me that I would save a ton of money if I bought this cold brew at the grocery store and stopped getting Starbucks cold brews like 20 times a day. So I did. This guy, what is this even called? Stock Stoke cold brew coffee? It was buy, uh, buy one get one half off I think at the grocery store so I spent like six bucks on two of these and I still have some in here. Um, I have been tracking this because I'm on prep. If I was not on prep I would not track my coffee but it does say there's two carbs in a cup so I don't know. I've just been tracking it just because I'm on prep but please do not track this. It's coffee like you don't have to track your coffee, but this is really, really good cold brew. So every morning I will make my own little venti Starbucks cold brew using this, a ton of ice, my skinny syrups, my stevia. And then on my cold brew, I never put the foam topping cause I just like to put my cold brew in like a cup with a straw. And so I don't use this, but you totally could, I think if you wanted to, but this has been my coffee routine for the past, what, week? And I love it so much. It is so, so good. It's a great, great little like sweet tooth fix too. So those are my coffee favorites and you should just buy everything that I just said. I'm not kidding. I will link my Amazon store below so you can. I linked all of these syrups, everything. And then my favorite snack this month. Let's see if Brian can guess my, my March favorite snack. Scream it. Cream of rice. I don't know if you guys heard that, but. Thank God for you. So I just implemented this two, three weeks ago maybe um, because my weight was going crazy. You know me. <laughs> no biggie. It's fucking funny. And I wanted to try to get rid of anything that could possibly be bloating me even a little bit. And I was listening to a podcast and someone said that oatmeal tends to bloat a lot of their bikini competitors. And I was like, well, who the fuck knows? Maybe I'm having oatmeal every single day. Maybe oatmeal is bloating me. So I switched to cream of rice, which is gluten-free. It is just, um, it's just rice. It's granulated rice. So rice does fantastic for my body. And I have a recipe on my website, on the blog portion. And then I also have um, the recipe in the description box below. And I have a YouTube video of me making my cream of rice. So this has been my favorite snack. I had protein powder and egg whites. The egg whites kind of souffle in the microwave and um, it makes it really voluminous. And I had this this morning for breakfast and I am not even close to hungry. It really keeps me full for hours. It's a game changer, I fucking love it. So, oh, and then a lifestyle favorite right now. Okay, you guys, I bought this at Vitamin Shop, believe it or not. This little diffuser, you guys, I'm obsessed with it. And I bought um, a, an essential oil, lemongrass. I love lemon flavor. And you just sprinkle some in and it does this mist and it just makes the whole house smell like lemon. And I wanna go back and get like lavender and like different fun essential oils. And I don't know how much it was, maybe 20, 30 bucks, but they were selling it right at Vitamin Shop. And I was like, I was cashing out and I'm like, it smells good in here. And they're like, oh, it's the diffuser. And I'm like, I want that right now. And not knowing that they sold it. And then he's like, okay, let me grab it for you. So you can buy a diffuser with essential oils at Vitamin Shop and I fucking love it. I want one in every room of my house. That's my, well not every room, but like downstairs and then maybe one in my office and one in the bedroom. I want it so bad. They have awesome flavors too, like rose. Mm -hmm. I want it. So if you want your house to smell delicious or you just want like essential oils maybe to help migraines, I hear that like peppermint helps migraines and like lavender helps relax you and lemongrass helps energize you. And it's really, I don't know, I'm really, really enjoying it. So that is like my lifestyle favorite. And Luna's my favorite. Luna, she was just sleeping, so she's like dead, but she's my baby and she's my favorite. So I, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoy seeing my favorites, can you please like the video? Because that's gonna give me some insight if you even enjoy listening to like what my favorites were. And I will do this every month if you want, if I have enough favorite things. Um, yeah, but just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. I have um, an announcement to make in the next video which I'm gonna to try to get out really, really soon. So please put the notifications on for my videos because you're gonna to want to see my next vlog. I'm just gonna say that, so.
Bye.